Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be checking out the Mindways uh, program which allows you to grab your Minecraft worlds and import them into Blender and render an amazing animation with it. So first things first, let's just download the program, click this realtimerendering.com and it uh, pops up with this really sketchy website but uh, it, it's really safe so, so don't worry about it. Just click uh, download Mindways and it will uh, prompt you with uh, where you want to download it. Just do that. Maybe you want a minimal version, just um, uh, read about it here. And it's, it's really easy. There's also a, a tutorial right here, but uh, I'm just going to show you right now. So when you have it downloaded, go into, just open a Blender already and open Minecraft and create a new world or uh, use a world you already had. It's going to call this um, Blender. In Creative, so I can look around. So when you spawn in the world, you just want to go wherever you um, see something interesting. And I immediately see this, this river within these mountains, so I'm just going there for the purpose of, the vid of this video. Yeah, this, this looks pretty cool. So, uh, just save and quit the world. And then open the program. It will pop up with this um, Windows protected your PC. Just click more info and run anyway. It's, uh, it's safe to do. Uh, it opens this and you can just go to file and open world and it will just give you all your worlds. And don't comment <laughs> about my uh, choice of, of naming my worlds. Just click Blender for now. And there you get the world imported. Uh, it only um, gives you the chunks that act are actually loaded. So make sure to load the chunks you want to, to use. If you go to view and spawn, jump to player, this is uh, where the player is. So let's see, I think uh, I, was, I was here and I was looking that way. So if you just right click and um, drag, it's just uh, like a selection. Just click OK. I want to select some more, so just do this. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, go to the height, that's um, everything you are selecting. If you change the slider, it will just show you what you're selecting. And the purple things are what's selected. So I recommend height just uh, to, to max height. And the depth is the same, but uh, from the bottom. So purple selected, I want to select the minimal, probably like 50, to make sure everything underwater is selected. And that, that's really the, the basic things you're probably going to use this, this for. You can view the nether here at the end, but I don't have it loaded because you saw I didn't go to the nether. And I told you um, it will only give you the loaded chunks. So just uh, go to the nether or the end and you can click it here. You go to cave mode, lighting, all the things, you can, you can do that. It works for 1.19, no issues there. And there you can just uh, export for rendering and it will save as an OBJ file. So just save it anywhere you like. Just going to make a new folder here, call it Mindblaze. File name is Blender. You can also choose to save it as an STL for me object works fine okay so what you want to do is export all textures to three large mosaic images and make groups objects I forgot something so just um, yeah yeah make a new project <coughs> and do the same thing again really quickly this shouldn't be a bother to you I hope my ways um, blender to Click M again, blah, blah, blah. Now in the UV editor, we see these three textures and just click RGBA. And just select one object, go to the shader editor. This is fine. And delete the alpha and just use the alpha from this because it's RGBA. Change it to closest, I messed up. And right now what you can do is just press A and Control L 
link materials because it's just one material you need as you can see right here and now everything is applied and it's really really simple <laughs> change it to alpha hashed and now you can just add a camera and then there are two possible things you can do with the lighting you can download an hdri from polyhaven which i have a video on you can download this one 2k is enough xr or hdr hdr doesn't really matter just click download then in blender go to world color and change this to an environment texture open it and this is the hdr so really vibrant colors which is amazing and also change to cycles for ray tracing If you want to change the rotation of the HDRI, you can do it in two ways. You can go to the shader editor, change this to world, and uh, press Ctrl T if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. You can just uh, change the Z rotation. Or what you can do is change the pivot point to 3D cursor. Um, make sure it's in the world origin. And then just select everything and rotate it along the z-axis. But I'm going to do it this way. So another thing you can do is just select the water. And create a new plane for it. Scale it up to about your world size. And then... Just move it to where the, the water should be, and then move it down by, and move it down by like 0.1 for a one pixel or something. And now you can make your own water shader. If you go to object, create a new material. So really easy. Just um, search for Musgrave texture and the bump node. Height to height, normal to normal. Control T, if we just view this, you can see that right here. Increase the size, set the transmission to 1, roughness to 0, specular to 0, or 1, whatever your taste is. I don't really care. Now, one more thing you can do is add a cube, scale it up uh, the same amount that we did to water. Move it up a little. Doesn't have to be this this high. That's probably enough. And with the cube selected, add a new material. And delete this and add a volume scatter. This does uh, mess with the performance a little bit, but it really pays off. Decrease the density to like 0 0.05 or something. That's a bit too much. 0 0.01. And change the anisotropy value to like 0.9. Works really well. You have this uh, light fall off in the background, which I really like. For this one, I'm just going to do a little bit less. Really have to play with these values. It just makes it look a little bit, a little bit more dramatic. But I find uh, that Minecraft worlds work a lot better in, in cycles, as you can see. And I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Uh, it's, it's been enough. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe. It would really make my day. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for me. So uh, have a nice day.